one. He's di going downstream for sure. Oh. Is he hard? He's around that corner. It was the monster I've been looking for. Woo! <laughs> I'm Chris Blanchard. You're watching The Bite. What is up, YouTube friends and family? We got a really cool little adventure episode planned today, right? Yep. Well, you guys might have seen an episode recently. We put up, uh, we were carp fishing. And I happened to catch a carp on a chicken nugget. And that was all real film. I just tried it, it worked. We're gonna go down and get a uh, cheeseburger. And we're gonna catch a fish on a cheeseburger. Actually, I'll break that down a little bit more. We're gonna try to catch a fish on all of the parts of a cheeseburger. Um, the bread, the meat, the lettuce, the tomato, the onion. We're gonna try it all. What do you think? What do you think is gonna catch the most? The lettuce. So we're gonna catch a fish on a cheeseburger. So stay tuned. Um, have you ever had the quarter, the half pound cheeseburger before? I have not. I don't like meat. You don't like meat? Do you think a fish would eat that? A fish? Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna catch a fish on a cheeseburger today. I don't know if I'd waste my money on that big of one. I'd probably just get like a smaller one. <laughs> That's a good point. Get a smaller burger. What's your smallest cheeseburger? Uh, it's 339 and it's just ketchup, mustard, and pickle. Can you put onions and tomato on that? I can. Or I can just do a deluxe burger. It's the same price. Let's do that. We got ourselves a cheeseburger. We're heading to the spot right now. This is going to get interesting. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. It's going down right now. All right, guys. So we made it down to our spot. Um, you know, you might recognize it from our carp episode. We like this little nook. It's got like a little live well to bring the fish in to uh, check out before we release them. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get our our little buffet. We'll call it our cheeseburger bait buffet laid out. Um, yeah, we'll get rolling. We'll get some stuff in the water. What do you think, buddy? You ready to catch some stuff on a cheeseburger? Yeah, and fries. And fries. Yeah. I like it. And French fries. fry. I think I would think they would eat a French fry. Yeah. But we're gonna find out. Are you guys ready for this? Because I am. I've been waiting for this. Oh, that's All right. So we got our burger here. Our cheeseburger. We got the bun. We got. Looks like it's got pickles, lettuce, onions, tomato. There's a patty. We're gonna try it all. So let's lay it out real quick. We're gonna try to get them on lettuce, buns, pickles, onions, tomatoes, and burger patty. Where's the french fries? I don't know. All right. Now we got some french fries. You ready to catch some fish? Let's let's go get some more french fries. We need more french fries? Yep, I got more. Did I don't you? think we need any more. Yeah, I just if we can't get a fish on those french fries, we're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to decide on some rules here. Um, I don't want to just sit there and fish the onion all day and not catch anything. So we got to time it. I'm thinking, what do you think? We give each of them a half hour. Yeah. Right? We'll have two rods out. We'll have the same bait on each rod and give each of those baits a half an hour before we pull them and say they didn't catch anything. Um, if they happen to catch a fish before that half hour, then uh, we just switch baits anyway. So we're just going to see what part of the cheeseburger catches the fish the fastest. Beside the bread, I feel like the bread's cheating because everybody in the world knows that carp love bread. So, beside bread, what part of the cheeseburger is the carp's second favorite? All right, so for this episode and these, this target of species and or the cheeseburger episode, that's what we're going to call it, the cheeseburger episode, I'm going to use a 20-inch leader with a number four hook and then uh, a little quarter-ounce slide weight. Um, that should be perfect. 
and then I'm going to stack uh, all the ingredients on the hook. We're going to smash them. All right, first, let's try one on some bread. We know carp love bread, so we're going to put a little piece of bread on there. It's got ketchup on it, so I've never, I've never caught a carp on bread that has ketchup on it. So that'll be a first too. So we're gonna throw that one out first. A little chunk of bread. All right, so we just threw the first bread chunk out. Timer set. We're gonna give it a half hour and that's all it gets. I'm gonna throw the second bread chunk out just so, you know, we got two rods with each bait running. But we're gonna see what happens. Well, I'm just sitting here rigging up this uh, second rod with bread. Get it, get it, get it. And uh, with a minute and 30 seconds, Sage is on to a carp. It's on bread though, so we kind of knew that was gonna happen. But uh, here, let me check the drag. Okay. We're gonna go a little tighter and come down here. Walk down this way. Okay. So Sage is on the first carp in a minute and 20 seconds. So we gotta get out on that little rock right there. That's what I'm thinking kind of ran up river on us might be a good fish stand up there and stay right stay right there bring him in fight him yeah that'd be a good one. Oh yeah you see him yeah oh you're on that branch right there you gotta be careful you gotta be careful here let me see the rod real quick here you hold the camera Okay, okay. All right, we're out of the bushes. So what you gotta do is bring him around the big rock. He's coming that way. No, 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 the other way. That's a decent fish. Yeah, bring him in here in this pool. I'm gonna go the other side. Nice. Bring him around this way, over here. That's a good fish, dude. That's a good fish. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh man, come in this way. He's coming your way. Oh no, I can't get him. <laughs> Here, get, take the rod up there. Okay. Get him. Grab the first fish right First fish there. right there on the bread. We knew it was going to happen, so it's kind of cheating. Not really, it's not cheating. Boom. That was a big one. That was good, dude. Found it. First one, Boom, first one in like a minute and 30 seconds. Time to try some onion. Yeah. See if they'll eat an onion. Yeah. I didn't even get the second rod rigged up um, with the bread on it. I guess uh, carp like bread and ketchup. Is that what we're gonna say? Yep. We'll see if they like onion. Just one second and we just caught a fish. Yeah, it was a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, just one second. So here's our onion piece. Let's throw this rod out. Timer's reset. I just heard a fish roll. So we're going to get our chunk of onion out in the water. I'm filming All right. casting. Alright, so we just threw the onion out. Just started the timer. Let's see if the onion can beat a minute and 30 seconds like the bread did. Yeah. We're going to give it a half hour. If it doesn't yeah. hit within there, we're going to switch, switch baits. All right, guys, so we got our second rod out. We're at a minute, 20 seconds. I saw that rod bounce. I think a fish hit it. So, oh, what? come on. I'll get my hands right back. It's the rod on your side. Yeah, I, I saw, got it. I saw it bounce. So I'm going to get one point. I got one point. Already. Come on, eat the onion. Eat the onion. They're definitely chewing on the onion. So there's definitely a chance. All right guys, so it's been seven and a half minutes on the onion. We're getting some little nibbles and little bites. I'm just looking at this rod right here because it was tapping. But anyway, I think I'm gonna try, you know, before I just, uh, I just took like a whole thing like this and I just kind of like, threaded it on there. I'm gonna stack it like I do corn. I'm just gonna break off a little piece. I'm gonna slide it on there. I'm wondering if they can't quite 
get that sliver into their mouth. So I'm gonna make these like almost like little corn kernels. Stack them on the, uh, the hook. We'll find out here in a minute. I'm gonna do one more. All right, so maybe that'll work. Let's try it. All right guys, so it's been nine and a half minutes with the onion, but these rods just keep bouncing. I'm really confident that we're gonna get a little bit. Left rod just hit, right rod just buried. We came back up. With carp, you gotta kinda like let them just bury it and take it. That's usually how I get them. You can quick set them all you want, but the for sure hookup is them running off with it. But don't let them take your rod. You know, we got them, we got them anchored behind this rock here, but we're gonna get one on an onion. We are at 10 minutes, 16 seconds, and both rods have been tapping, so it's just a matter of time. Come on, onion. I wonder what's biting on it. I wonder if it's a small fish or if like it's a big fish putting in its mouth and being like, oh, this is gross. Oh, my rod's bouncing for sure. Then one of us have to get each rod. Well, if we get a double? Yeah. An onion double? That would be yeah. hilarious. Yeah, that would be so cool. He would have to guess too. Oh my god, we both got two fishes on one day. <sighs> so the onion's been soaking for 17 minutes and 20 seconds. That's a lot. We've, uh, we've had a couple bites, but nothing that like stuck and ran away with it. So that's what we're waiting on. We're gonna give it, well, oh, 13 more minutes. Come on, onion. We're at 21 minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Get ready, Sage. Okay. He buries it, I'm taking him. Here we go, oh, come on, pick it up. He's coming, dude, watch. Look at your rod, look at your rod. Rules here. Um, I don't wanna just sit there and fish the onion all day and not catch anything so we got to time it i'm thinking i just had a huge hit on this right side rod come on it's gonna happen buzzer beater two minutes to go Could come I on come on buzzer beater can, can hurt you? Oh, there's one there's one oh what? it had it no oh my gosh it buried the rod. I hope we caught that on camera. The, the rod just buried, so I set it and missed him. But something definitely picked it up and ran off with it. I'm gonna get that one reset. Maybe that one will go off while we're doing that. That was crazy. All right, so we got about 30 seconds to go on the onion. And like I said, we've gotten so many bites, a couple takedowns, but none that have stuck. Oh, come on, buzzer beater, come on. We just had a rod banging a little bit. They're nibbling on it. Both rods are getting hit on, which makes me think they might be smaller fish. Oh my gosh, I thought that was on. Dude, they're hitting it so good. I don't know, even though this timer's up in 10 seconds. I think, uh, I think we might try the onion after we get through everything else, because I'm confident we can get one on an onion. Okay, well, I think it's time. Timer's up. It's been 30 minutes. I think it's time to pull the onion. We're gonna try a tomato next. And then we might even go back to the onion, like I said, so. I think it's time to try some tomato. We got a nice, nice tomato chunk right here. I'm just gonna tear off a little bit and get it on the hook. Tear it like, um, tear it like the um, onion that you did. Yeah. Remember? Let's I'm gonna turn. kinda just make it like a worm. Yeah, thread it on there. Yep. All right, so we got our little chunk of tomato ready to go. Yep. How's that look? Good. Let's see it if it. Let's see if something will bite it. Timer is set for the tomato. Let's see if we can beat the bread at. What was the bread? A minute and thirty seconds. Yeah, a minute. So let's see if we can catch a fish on a tomato quicker than a minute, a minute and thirty seconds. Yeah. All right, so we're. Three, four minutes into our tomato bait, we've had we've had a couple we've had a couple hits, 
but nothing as exciting as the bread, which was right off the bat, or the onion, which was getting hit the entire time, but it just wouldn't stay on there. So, like I said, we're on tomato now. So far, a couple nibbles, but nothing major. We're at nine minutes and 15 seconds on the tomato. And we had a little bit of a turn of events. Um, it stole our bait. So the tomato is hitting, but I think they just ripped it right off and took it with them. So I'm gonna put another piece on here. All right, we're getting hit like crazy. Come on. We're at 11 minutes and 43 seconds on the tomato and something stinks in the bushes you don't know what it is yet i think sage farted no definitely getting action but they're just picking it off it's probably a small fish i just saw a fish roll right over there but it's probably a small fish i'm guessing because it's just tick 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 cleaning off my maters do you say tomato or do you say tomato we only got a little bit more tomato left to try so hopefully we catch a fish on the tomato before they eat it all. Oh yeah. Oh, we're on. Tomato is on. We just caught a fish on a tomato. Get down in your spot there. There you go. You got a fish on a tomato, buddy. So that was at 15 minutes and 15 seconds. Keep your rod tip up. Up high, up high. There you go. I'm gonna get in here too. I'm gonna clear this rod. Here, I'll put the camera up so I can watch you in action on your carp on a tomato. How many of you have caught a carp on a tomato? Go ahead and uh, comment below. Get back down there. All right there, you can stand right there. If you feel good right there, go ahead. I'll get this one out of the way. Move it. Hey guys, I just got a big carp on a tomato. He's reeling it in to get it out of the way. So, Small one, since I can feel it. Let's get it. Let's get it in. Oh, it's not. It doesn't feel. Oh, that's right there. I can see him. Oh, that's see him. Oh, he is. Yeah. Carp, yeah. carp on a tomato. What you know about that? All right, this fish, is this fish is bleeding quite a bit, so we're gonna get him back in the water quickly, but that is a carp on a tomato. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Let's let him go. Oh. Yeah, there's fish too. Let's get one on a uh, pickle. Pickle time. Let's try some pickles. I hate pickles so much. I yeah. hate pickles so much. Yeah, I, I wonder don't. if they hate them as much as I do. Yeah. We're gonna find out. We're gonna thread this thing on. I a bet they love them. I bet so too, huh? Yeah. Alright, pickle on the line. Let's do it. I'll watch I'll watch you cast it. Okay. Alright guys, we just casted out the pickle rod. We're getting a second one rigged up right now. So timer set. We'll see how long it takes. I'll get this okay. Alright, so we got a fish on a bread of course we got a fish on tomato and we got a pickle on right now we had bites on the onion but they uh they never stayed stuck so we actually didn't catch one in the 30 minute time but we're gonna try that again at the end of the day um, so right now we got two pickle rods out and we're already getting a bite on one so hopefully we're just gonna get it right away timer's at two minutes if it buries it, I'm taking it. Here we go. Fish three. Come on. We're gonna get a fish three. Oh, your rod just got a bump. And the left left rod just got hit. Oh, both rods got hit. Wouldn't that be crazy? Get a pickle double? Yeah. A double pickle? Isn't that like a baseball thing? Yeah. Anyway. We're at four minutes on the pickle rods. Four minutes on the pickle rods. And this one's just getting pounded on. Some, Something's just... Should we pick it up? When I tell you, you just pick it up and start reeling hard, okay? Okay, and I'll go down and I'll go this way. This thing's just getting pounded on. Look at this. I'm tight. 
That's not me hitting it. That's a fish hitting it. Can I pick it up? No, because we wanted to take it. Just like pick it up and run with it, you know? And I know it's not stuck on the bottom because I just popped it. It's just getting mutilated down there. It might be just like a, a school of tiny fish just chewing on it, but I'm gonna bet that a carp's gonna come by and grab one of them. So I just reeled in our other rod and something had taken the entire piece of pickle off. And then I reeled in the other one and the entire middle of the pickle was gone. It was just a skin. And so we have our last two pieces of pickle out in the water right now on these, on these two rods. Um, so hopefully something sticks this time so we can reel it in, but something likes the pickle down there. We just don't have a, we don't have a fish to show for it, but these are our last two pieces of pickle. So if something picks these off, we're, uh, we're SOL. We are 17 minutes and 30, 39 seconds into our pickle fish. We've gotten a couple good takes. We've gotten uh, a couple of our pickles stolen. So that's not good. We, these are our last two pickle baits. Hopefully we could stick one on it. But they definitely like pickle. It's gonna happen. Pickle fish coming up. Almost 25, come on, 25 minutes, 24.50. And uh, we still got action. So hopefully we're gonna get a pickle fish here in a second. Buzzer beater. Buzzer beater. Down. Pickle fish. Pickle fish. Here, here, take it. Go down to your spot. Go down there. Here, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Go down. Go down there. This is a fish on a pickle with, what are we at? 26 minutes. 26, 24. Here, just reel, 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 reel hard. Really hard. Get out on that rock. And aim this way. There you go. Oh, you're kind of in a tree. Keep reeling, just reel, 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 reel hard. Let's see. There you go. Here, hold this real quick. Okay. Hold it. Got one. He's get going downstream for sure. Oh. Is he hard? He's around that corner. Here, jump back. Okay. Let me get out there. I just hear booty. He's way down there, dude. I gotta go in this deep pocket. Right here, he's not in the bushes. So here, trade me. You take it. Get up on your rock. Aim your rod down here like that. There you go. And then just. I want to move that rod. No, it's fine. Just reel, and then pump. You gotta reel and pump. Good job, dude. Fish on a pickle. Yeah, buddy. Get this pickle fish in. Ooh, he's good, dude. He might be bigger than the first fish, the bread fish. We're about to find out. Just keep keep doing your thing. Real hard on him. Don't let him beat you. Sage is on his first ever pickle carp. Pulling hard. Is it pulling hard? Yeah. It looked like a decent fish. That was a buzzer beater. That was literally two and a half minutes, three and a half minutes to go. Keep going. Don't look. Don't give up. Real. If you give up, he's gonna beat you. Pump him and go. You almost got him. Real. Pump. 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 He's coming up more. He's coming up right in front of us. See his ripple? Yeah. See him right here? Now rod tip up straight. Don't turn him anymore. Now bring him in toward us. I'm gonna get the... Pickle fish. Keep reeling. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. Pickle fish, dude. Point your rod tip where you want him to go. There you go. There you go. Good job. And now reel down on it and do it again. Reel, reel, reel. Reel, reel. Oh, he's big. He's a big boy. Pickle fish. Come on, pickle fish. Can I hold this one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Come here. Come stand next to me. Okay. Open the bale. Open the bale. Okay. Now put the rod down. Get over here next to me. Stand over here on the side. Over here. Okay. 
Booyah! Pickle fish! Pickle fish! That fish was on a pickle. So let's get one on a piece of lettuce. Let's let this one go. Let him go. All right, put it under here, under here. Under here. You gonna put them back in? Do it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bye, pickle fish. Dude, a fish on a pickle? Yeah. High five. Good job, dude. Nice reeling job. And what a buzzer beater. That was way cool. I can't believe we just caught a fish on a pickle. But it was literally a buzzer beater. It was like three minutes to go until we were gonna pull the plug. Um, so next up is, what are we gonna do? A piece of lettuce? Let's do a piece of lettuce and then we're going to do the hamburger meat itself. So far we got the bread fish, we got a tomato fish, a pickle fish. Let's go for a lettuce fish. Let's try some lettuce. I just grabbed like this thicker, stocky part. I think I'm going to break it in half, kind of like the onion. And I'm going to feed it on there. I'm kind of curious about this because I know they eat plant matter. So let's see if they uh, if they enjoy lettuce. A little piece of lettuce on there. Good. All right, so lettuce is in the water. Timer has started. Let's get the second rod in and uh, see if we can't get one quicker than the bread. We are at two and a half minutes on our lettuce rods and they're banging they're getting some bumps let's see if we can't get that big takedown i wonder what's going to catch the biggest fish i feel like the pickle might be tied with the bread yeah but we're going to find out by the end of the day what got the biggest fish that's a big fish we're only three minutes in we got a big fish on the lettuce rod i'm gonna have to clear this one out of the way oh. did we lose it yeah. real real hard real 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 did it pop off Oh, reel it in. We just lost the lettuce fish, but that's okay because that was a big fish and it was on. All right, guys, so we just lost a monster on the lettuce rod. We're only five minutes in, at least that's what the timer says. Uh, we got two lettuce rods out, one just got smashed, and then by the time uh, Sage got down into the fighting position there, he popped off, but I'm sure you guys saw that. So this was the hugest fish we have got this day. The breadfish was pretty big, but this one was way bigger than that. I saw it jump. Whoa, look up there. Buzzard. Buzzard. Come on. Eat the lettuce. Eat the lettuce. I'm kind of running out of memory card um, space. So I'm gonna make this a little quicker by saying that we got 23 minutes left on our lettuce battle. We had one fish on for 10 seconds on the lettuce. So I'm gonna confirm that lettuce worked. And I think we're gonna switch it up and get to, get to the, the hamburger patty right now. All right, let's try this burger patty. I'm just gonna break off a piece. Final piece of the cheeseburger challenge is this piece of burger right here. We're going to get two rods out. I'm going to cast this in and we'll start the timer. And the timer has begun. I mean, I feel like I feel like this is the most important most important part of the entire project. I mean, if we, we know they eat all the vegetables, they eat all the bread, but will they eat the meat? That's the big question. I am getting a bite right now. Could be a catfish. You never know. So let's see if it takes it. We're only a minute 15 in. That'd be hilarious if the hamburger patty beat the bread. But here we go. We are 15 minutes into our hamburger bait and we've gotten some good bites actually. We got ourselves a hamburger patty fish. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. We just caught a fish on a bun, a burger, a pickle, a tomato, a lettuce, Wow, what do you got here, bud? Got a ham. I got a big one. A big one on a burger patty. Oh, he's dark. Look how black that one is, dude. Yeah. Look at his color. Whoa. Keep going? Yeah. All right, stop. Whoa. 
Look at this one. Woo. That is on a burger patty right there. We did it, dude. We got a hamburger patty fish. He's over there. You got him? Oh, he's gone. He's going out. Oh, he's out of here. Yeah, we did it. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode me and Sage did. Um, I cannot believe carp will eat that many things on the menu. Maybe next time we'll try tacos yeah. or something cool like that. Or like chicken nuggets. Or chicken nuggets, something like that. But or, if you guys, what? Or even some grass. Or even some grass. If you guys like that episode, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit that bell, get those notifications for every time a new video pops up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.